Hi there, friends. I have a read aloud to share with you today that incorporates reading and math. I'm really excited to share it with you today. The story is called, How Many Seeds in a Pumpkin? Hmm. I'm wondering if any of you have ever tried to count your pumpkin seeds. The story is written by Margaret McNamara. She is the author of this story. And the artwork, the pictures, are done by G. Brian Karras. He is the illustrator of this story. Here we go. How many seeds in a pumpkin? Charlie liked school. He liked his teacher, Mr. Tiffin. He liked his best friend, Alex, but he did not like lining up to go to school. Mr. Tiffin's class lined up by size from tallest to smallest or smallest to tallest. Charlie was the smallest in the class every time. One chilly fall morning, Charlie was surprised to see three bright orange pumpkins on Mr. Tiffin's desk. One pumpkin was big, one was medium, and one was small. How many seeds in a pumpkin? Mr. Tiffin asked the class. Does anybody know? Nobody knew, but everybody had ideas. The biggest one has the most, said Robert. I bet it has one million seeds. Robert was the tallest boy in the class. The medium one has 500, Eleanor said. Eleanor always sounded as if she knew exactly what she was talking about. The tiny one has 22, said Anna. Anna liked even numbers better than odd numbers. Mr. Tiffin wrote down all the guesses on the blackboard. Charlie was very quiet. What are you thinking, Charlie? asked Mr. Tiffin. I'm thinking that all the best guesses are taken, Charlie said. Why don't we open these pumpkins up and see, said Mr. Tiffin. The next day, the kids in Mr. Tiffin's class brought in spoons for scooping and bowls for holding and plastic bags for throwing away. They covered the floor with newspaper. They put on their smocks. It's a messy business counting pumpkin seeds, said Mr. Tiffin. But the class was ready. After Mr. Tiffin cut a circle around each pumpkin stem, Kimmy, Alex, and Jake pulled off the caps. The children peered inside. This big one definitely has the most, said Robert. We'll see, said Mr. Tiffin. The pumpkin pulp was slimy and stringy and the seeds were hard to get out. They're using good scientific language about those parts of a pumpkin. When the children were finished, there were three empty pumpkins, three full bowls, and 20 messy hands. Tomorrow, we will find out the answer to our question, said Mr. Tiffin. Tonight, your homework is to think about how we should count all of the seeds. That afternoon, Mr. Tiffin dried the seeds. There he is, putting them in a little oven. The next day, he put them in three paper bags marked big, medium, and small. Did you do your thinking homework? He asked the class. Yes, Alex said. I think we should just guess. I think we should count very, very carefully, said Tara. I think we should count by twos, fives, and tens, said Molly. All good ideas. The class agreed that Molly had a good idea. Robert, Kimmy, and Jake all wanted to count the seeds in the big pumpkin by twos. Anna asked if she could join them. We can be the twos club, she said, and they practiced counting. Two, four, six, eight, ten, they said together. 
Jeremy, Tara, Eleanor, Molly, and Alex liked counting by fives. We'll count the seeds in the medium pumpkin, said Molly. We can be the fives club. Five, 10, 15, 20, they cheered. I'll take the smallest pumpkin, said Charlie. I guess I'll be in the tens club. Good idea, said Mr. Tiffin. 10, 20, 30, Charlie began. Soon, there were many groups of seeds in front of each pumpkin. Look at how busy they are counting all those seeds. The twos club. See, said Robert, the twos club has the most. They had 170 pairs of seeds. We have lots too, said Eleanor. They had 63 groups of five seeds and one seed left over. Hmm. If we look at the groups, who do you think had more? Charlie had exactly 35 groups with 10 seeds in each group. Robert looked at the seeds in front of Charlie. You don't have a whole lot, he said. Hmm. Let's get counting, said Mr. Tiffin. Two, four, six, eight, began Robert, Kimmy, Jake, and Anna. It took a long time to count 170 pairs of seeds. My brain hurts, said Anna. The biggest pumpkin had 340 seeds. Almost a million, said Jake. The fives were a little bit easier. Five, 10, 15, 20. There were 316 seeds in the medium pumpkin. Too bad for you, said Robert. It's not a contest, said Molly. So the large pumpkin had more seeds than the medium pumpkin. The tens were the fastest of all since there were just 35 groups. 10, 20, 30, 40. Charlie counted to himself. This can't be right, he said. What can't be right, asked Mr. Tiffin. There are 350 seeds in my little pumpkin, said Charlie. That means it has the most of all. So it does, said Mr. Tiffin. Congratulations, Charlie, said Alex. The tens club wins. Well, it's not a contest, said Robert. So Charlie's pumpkin was the smallest, but it had the most seeds. Mr. Tiffin told the class to gather around. You can never tell just how many seeds are in a pumpkin until you open it up, he said. But there may be some clues. Take a good look at these. The class did. Charlie's pumpkin was a little bit darker in color, said Anna. And it has more lines on the outside. Yep, said Mr. Tiffin. For each line on the outside of a pumpkin, there is a row with seeds inside. That's good to know, said Eleanor. And the longer the pumpkin grows, the more lines it gets, he added. And the skin gets darker too. So even though my pumpkin was the smallest, it was on the vine the longest, said Charlie. Exactly, said Mr. Tiffin. So you see the lines on the pumpkin for each line on a pumpkin. That is a row of seeds. Charlie's pumpkin has more lines on the outside, so it has more seeds. When it was time to go home, the class lined up by the door. Smallest to tallest, said Mr. Tiffin. Robert was at the back, Eleanor was in the middle, and Charlie was at the front. Small things can have a lot going on inside of them, Charlie said to Mr. Tiffin. And then they left the classroom with Charlie leading the way. All right, boys and girls, thank you for sharing this story with me. I sure learned a lot about pumpkins from Mr. Tiffin. 
All right, I'll see you next time.